Eurozone finance ministers on Monday approved a second bailout fund of 130 billion euros for Greece. The deal comes after Greece managed to secure the biggest debt write-down in history. In a move that has saved the country 100 billion euros, private investors exchanged their bonds for new ones worth half their value. President of the Eurogroup, Jean-Claude Juncker, said that the PSI agreement will see Greece's debt falling even below the original target. We have reached uh, a far-reaching agreement on Greece's new program and uh, private sector involvement that will lead to a very significant debt reduction for Greece. As Greece's problems have lost urgency, the Eurogroup turned its attention to Spain. As the fourth largest economy in the Eurozone, experts say Spain may be too big to default and too big to be bailed out. The Spanish government challenged the so-called fiscal compact by announcing a higher deficit target for this year. After long negotiations, finance ministers agreed to allow Spain a higher public deficit. However, the concession is tougher than expected. Brussels wants Spain to commit on a 5.3% deficit goal. This is 5 billion euros more in cuts than expected. The Eurogroup assesses that the timely correction of the excessive deficit should be ensured by an additional front-loaded effort of the order of 0.5% of GDP. With an unpredicted recession this year, an unemployment rate of over 20% and a general strike over labor market reforms, things are not looking very bright for Rajoy's government. Rajoy bought himself some time. Viktor Orban, however, saw the European Commission freeze Hungary's regional funds over an excessive deficit only last month.